FixEasy.com bringing you a repair video today on an LG Nexus 5. In today's video, we're going to show you the steps necessary to remove and replace the display assembly on your Nexus. Before we get started with our disassemble, let's review our suggested tools. Small Phillips screwdriver. Plastic opening tools. A spudger. Fine-tipped curved tweezers. Precision knife set. A heat gun or a blow dryer. Let's go ahead and begin our entry into our Nexus 5. Reviewing the phone, you're gonna recognize that the seam around the perimeter is quite tight. We could have tacked the seam with the plastic opening tool, but we chose not to. Going towards the headphone jack initially with our X-Acto knife so that we can keep from marring the outside cover. Releasing the first clip and then continuing on with our plastic opening tool around the entire phone, releasing all clips. We then brought in a spudger to release the center portion of our rear cover so that we can remove it from our Nexus. With our rear cover removed, we can bring our attention to getting to the internal parts near our motherboard. Starting with removing the protective plate on top of the motherboard with our six Phillips screws. With our screws removed, we can utilize our spudger to gently pry up this protective plate. Next, there's a series of connections we want to disconnect, starting with our battery. Gently prying that up with our spudger. Then we're going to move on to our dock port connector, again peeling it up with our spudger. Over here in the top corner is going to be our front facing camera. And our last connection here is going to be the rear facing camera that we can gently pry up. We're going to bring in a set of tweezers to disconnect the two coaxial connections at either corner of the motherboard. With all of our connections removed, we should now be able to maneuver our motherboard away from the Nexus. Be careful not to snag it on any of the connections on its way out. With our motherboard out of the way, let's go ahead and put our replacement part next to our Nexus so that we can compare the two. You'll notice that our replacement part has a lot of the housings and framework that our Nexus that we're disassembling has. You'll see our front facing camera here, as well as the earpiece speaker, our headphone jack, and our rear facing camera. If you pick up the replacement part and really take a look at the framework, you'll notice the housings for the power and volume buttons along the side as well. At this point, what you would be doing is, is transplanting your components from the old broken display assembly over to the new replacement part. Our unit at this time is not broken. We will not be swapping out the displays, but I'll still show you how to remove and transplant the components as if we were. Let's go ahead and start off with the headphone jack since it's easily lifted out of its housing. Next is going to be the earpiece speaker, which we gently pry up using our tweezers. Our front facing camera is going to be next in line. And then our rear-facing camera we can go ahead and peel up as well. We can bring in our spudger to go ahead and get under that battery and peel it up from its location. Let's 
Let's go ahead and remove the four Phillips screws that are securing the loudspeaker. And then remove it from the bottom of our Nexus. We have a single connection here on our dock port that we can pry up. And then our coaxial cables on either side. Let's go ahead and remove those from the wire channels. And now using our spudger, let's get under that dock port and break away that adhesive that's securing it in place. So once again, let's bring in our replacement part so we can compare the two. With all of our components removed, they are virtually identical. For those of you that bought a replacement part that didn't come with a frame or a bezel, to remove that original display assembly from the framework, we bring in a heat gun or a blow dryer and heat up the adhesive to soften it up for removal. We like to push through the front facing camera hole with a screwdriver, take a grip on the framework and then push it from the back side. Starting your separation in the top corner and then you can use a plastic opening tool to continue that separation and work yourself all the way around the perimeter of the framework. Before we get started with our reassembly, let's go ahead and take a moment to speak to those that have purchased a replacement part that didn't come with framework or a bezel. After removing your broken display assembly from the original framework, you're going to have to utilize the adhesive strips that FixEasy.com sends with all of its replacement parts. Cutting it to size and shape utilizing a razor blade or scissors laying it in place accordingly, and then reapplying your new replacement display assembly to the original framework. So now let's go ahead and begin our reassemble, starting with our dock port. And running the coaxial cables on either side up into their channels. and then finally locking down our display assembly connection firmly. Let's bring in some of our other components, starting with our rear-facing camera first. Followed by our earpiece speaker fitting snug in its housing. Our front-facing camera is next in line. And then finally wrapping up with our headphone jack. Let's go ahead and bring in the battery and place it into the housing in the center of the phone now. And then our loudspeaker is going to be next over top of our dock port, securing it with the four Phillips screws. Maneuvering our motherboard around our connections and back into the Nexus. A little hint for you, start by positioning the rocker button for the volume on the side of the motherboard. Let's 
go ahead and settle now all of our connections down into the motherboard, starting with the front facing camera. The connection for the rear facing camera is next. Our connection for our battery. And finally our connection here over top the battery for our dock port. And do not forget the two coaxial cable connections at either corner of the motherboard. Let's bring in the plastic protective cover for the motherboard and secure it with the six Phillips screws. We're in the home stretch now, bringing in the rear cover. When snapping in the rear cover, I like to start with the bottom portion nearest to the dock port, and then work my way around the perimeter, snapping the clips in firmly. And then powering the phone on to check for full functionality. And there you have it, another successful repair by FixEasy.com. All of the parts and tools you've seen today in this video are available at www.FixEasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.